pitching staff for this job in this one. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Phillies Head Show Video Cast Recap of this afternoon's game between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers as the Phillies defeat the Dodgers by a final score of 2 to 1. As uh, the Bryce Harper solo home run and the Ronald Reyes RBI single was the only offense provided in this game. Uh, but the pitching staff also carried. Now, guys, before you get this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please show the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Uh, so, a nice way to avoid the sweep. Right? And that is a really, really big deal. We cannot get swept out of Los Angeles Dodgers, and we don't. So, uh, luckily, we avoid the broom, which is a very, very big deal. Um, so, uh, awesome job today. Uh, Ranger Suarez going a little bit deeper. Right? I mean, not you know too much deeper. Uh, we all know his pitching out was pretty high. Uh, but, uh, you know, every start that he has, you know, in the next start, he's going to go deeper. Uh, so that's a good sign. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully we get to see JT uh, back behind the plate tomorrow, which we probably will. Uh, so we got some good uh, medical news, you know, uh, from the doctors about JT Realmuto. Uh Bryce Harper thought he was cooling off, right? And uh, <laughs> what was I wrong? I'll admit it. Uh, you know, it's uh, on the left center. He looked pretty good on that swing. And how about Ronald Torres continues to just be great for the Phils, uh, driving in Bryce Harper. Uh, on that RBI single. So Bryce Harper scoring the uh, two runs for the Phils today. Um, so a great job out of Harp. Uh, and uh, like I said before, this pitching staff uh, definitely uh, was there today. There's no question about that. As you pick up the scoring summary to bottom the first inning, the Phillies jump ahead to an early 1-0 lead. Bryce Harper, uh, MVP. Homer Sunday fly ball to left center field. A nice line drive that carries out. I didn't really think that I had enough to get out. I thought it was maybe going to be a double. Uh, nope, it carries out. Uh, 21st home run of the season, a solo shot, 19 of his 21 homers have been solo homers, but you know what, that's okay, not all his fault, one nothing Philadelphia, so Bryce Harper is his first uh, home run in the baby blue uniform this season, um, so he hasn't really played too well in the baby blue uniforms this season, of course we all know, nearly two years ago he did something uh, just amazing, right, I mean, historic in the baby blue uniform on August 15th against the Chicago Cubs, and Hmm, I wonder what that was. I, I, I kind of forget, right? Uh, LOL. I think we all know what he did. That walk-off grand slam, which was just amazing. Uh, then the bottom of the fourth inning, Ronald Torres singles on the ground ball up the middle. Uh, Bryce Harper comes around to score uh, from second, and it's 2 nothing Phil. So Ronald Torres does it again, ladies and gentlemen. It feels like every time I come on here and you know talk about Ronald Torres, I'm saying something positive. He continues to just be a solid option for the Phillies. He continues to come up in big moments. And no one's really talking much about this guy. So, uh, you, know, you know, props to Big Toe, Ronald, Ronald Torres. Uh, so, a uh, great job, Ronnie, right there. Uh, scoring Bryce Harper, that ribby single. Then we pick it up top of the fifth inning. Uh, as a Trey Turner grounds out the shortstop, uh, Austin Barnes comes around to score. Uh, as uh, the Dodgers challenge to call it first, uh, Trey Turner uh, was ruled out of the Dodgers challenge. It was a pretty bang-bang play. And uh, the call was not overturned. The call was upheld. Uh, but the run did come around to score. Now a 2 1 ball game. Uh, and that'll be your final. 2 uh, 1 fills as they salvage the final game of this three game set. And they avoid the sweep. Most importantly of all, they avoid the sweep, which is a very, very big deal. You can't get swept out by this Dodger team, and they don't. Um, so uh, I'm very content with this, right? You take one out of three from this World Series Dodger team, and they won the World Series last year. Um, so, you know, I'm content with it. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, I would have liked to see more. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I, we're just not as good as the Dodgers. I mean, there's no other way to say it. We're just not as good as them. And if you think that we, we are as good as them and you're just lying to yourself, I mean, this is this Philly team is not as good as the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, so you have to, you know, you have to be objective. Uh, but uh, Gene Segura definitely cooled off today. Uh, he goes to his lead off spot. I mean, the thing I like about him is he puts the ball in play a lot. And uh, if, you, if you put the ball in play, I get him out, good things can happen. Uh, so uh, I like to see that. Uh, but uh, also, Brad Miller getting to start at first. Now you got to talk about it, right? He's going to see more, some more time at first, especially with Alec Boehm, you know, uh, just being a terrible defender at first, right? We all, you know, they thought about maybe starting Alec Boehm at first. Well, after last night's catastrophic uh, play that he had, uh, I don't know how you can, uh, at least not for a while. And then, of course, Reed Hoskins on the IL. So, Brad Miller probably going to be your everyday first baseman uh, for the foreseeable, you know, future next week and a half or so. Um, so, I, you know, I get that. Uh, Bryce Harbour only when it was a big one. Uh, the uh, line drive homer to left center, and anytime you see Harp go the other way, you know, it's a big deal. It's something you got to talk about. He's going good when he goes the other way, and his ability to go to all fields is, is something he's been able to do his whole career, uh, you know, even back when, you know, his time with the Nats, right? I mean, he's always 
had a had a you know ability to go to all fields. I mean, uh, that, that's a really, really nice talent to have. You don't want to be a pool hitter. Of course, he's shown some times in his career where he has been a pool hitter. You know, especially in 2018, that was part of his problem. The first half of 2018, that he was a, with the Nats. You know, he was being a bit, you know too much of a pool hitter. Uh, but uh, you know, he's done a pretty good job of hitting the ball all fields. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon, uh, unfortunately, he did go hitless today. Uh, you know, that's all right, right? I mean, he's made some couple nice plays out uh, in left field, especially last night. He's done a really good job out there. Um, so I've been really impressed with him. And uh, Dita Gregorius collects a hit at short. Uh, nice job. And uh, I tell you what, I mean, I knock him all the time for being a bad defender and everything, but he, he, as, as many as the bad plays he's made, he's made a couple good ones, too. Uh, so he has, to be, he has a lot of potential to be a good defender. And same with goes without going, he has potential to be a good defender. If he could just clean up these fundamental mental mistakes, but the mistakes they make are, are easy mental ones. And, and so it gives me hope because, hey, it's not, it's not that hard to fix. Um, so hopefully they can get that together. Travis Jankowski uh, collecting those two walks. Just get on base, right? You're always, you're always trust that just get on base. I don't care how you do it. Uh, Andrew Knapp. He does get the start behind home plate this afternoon. Uh, and, uh, you know, I understand, you know, he didn't do, didn't do anything, of course. Uh, but uh, that one at bat, he had the bases loaded, he bowed, right? You know, 2-2 two, two count, you know, found the ball the other way. And you, see, you could tell he, he was staying on the baseball. Uh, you know, John Crock was talking about, too, going the other way, you know. And, and I like to see that. Um, so, uh, you know, not the worst at bat by Andrew Knapp right there, but he still didn't do anything. Uh, but how about Ranger Suarez collecting it, right? I mean, that was pretty cool. Um, so it's nice to see that, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just funny. And you take a look at Ranger Suarez start, four and a third, three hits, one run, one was earned, two walks in, four strikeouts. I was impressed with him. Wish he could go a little bit deeper. I wish his pitch count would be a little bit lower. Uh, that's one thing I like to see him work on as well. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, part of that's his command, right? I mean, the, you know, the command needs to be a little bit better. And uh, sometimes he just doesn't have a good control of his pitches. Uh, so he needs to do a better job of that. But uh, all in all, uh, pretty decent start of him today. I was pretty impressed. Uh, Alan De Los Santos, this guy is just terrible. So I understand that that one wasn't charging him. I completely understand it shouldn't have been, but still, this guy, why didn't he bring this guy in a high level situation? It just makes no sense to me. Uh, you know, it's just like, why? Joe Jordy continues to hand uh, De Los Santos the ball in these high level situations. I mean, and he, and he, you know, when something big happens, he's surprised. Uh, I get to Joe Jordy a second getting ejected. Uh, and uh, Hector Neris also with a nice inning. I mean, he's taken on that new spot very, very well. I've been very, very comfortable with you know, him coming into the game. Archer Bradley, a great two innings. Uh, he was just great. Seven and one down here. He gets the win at 2 5 2 ERA. This guy is worth re signing. Uh, he has turned his season around in a big way. This is a guy that did not start off well. And if you want really to talk about a guy who you know, has turned it around, this guy has been great. Um, so I've been just so happy with Archie Bradley. I mean, he's been able to put his struggles behind him. And Ian Kennedy. He has to save his 19th of the season, uh, and uh, it should have been way it should have been way easier than how it happened. I mean that is just ridiculous. That umpire was terrible. So you know what, Ian Kennedy, that should have been a one, two, three ninth inning. I mean that is just ridiculous. I'm not going to blame any of that on him. Was, that that one strike call, it should have been a strike to Corey Seager, and that water call that you know it should have been a strike to Cody Bellinger. That should have been enough to get us out of that inning. And then he uh, you know hit somebody again, you know load the bases, and then. He luckily was able to get a fly out to end it, but uh, that should have been way easier than what it was. But uh, Joe Girardi gets ejected in the top of the ninth inning for arguing balls and strikes. So if you if you do that, it's an automatic ejection, of course. Um, so uh, you know he should have been. I mean, you got to get ejected sometimes. A manager, you got to fire up your team, and that was a terrible, two terrible calls that were clearly in the strike zone. And you know Joe Girardi should be raising his voice and, and getting upset because I mean, as a manager, you can't just sit back and not do anything. And yes, I mean you know getting ejected is not really going to change the outcome, but it sends a message. Uh, to your to your ball club and say hey you know look, look, look how much the manager cares about this team and it fires up the guys and, and there's there's some other reasons that go on behind it just of getting thrown out uh, so I completely understand that awesome job right there from Joe Girardi uh, but uh, the only criticism of him is I don't like Diego Santos being brought in these these pretty high level situations we're playing a World Series team like the Dodgers and uh, you know we're bringing in Diego Santos I mean I, I don't like that uh, move at all but the, the Phillies you know do solid the final game of the series two to one. Uh, great job, right? I mean, uh, great job. Uh, now, Archibald, I'm going to go back to it again. This guy has been just, just been great, you know, coming out of the Phillies bullpen. And this offense needed to pick me up, right? I mean, for the pitching staff. I mean, this offense was, you know, not as good in this Dodgers series. I didn't really expect it to be as good as in, in this Dodgers series. I mean, the Dodgers, I mean, they have an elite offense uh, followed by an elite pitching staff as well. Um, so, you know, we all know the offense is most likely going to heat up this weekend with the Cincinnati Reds coming to town. A, Pitching staff that has just not had a good year at all, right? I mean, the Reds have just not been great uh, this year, right? I mean, uh, you know, with the pitching staff. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, light them up a little bit. 
and uh, hopefully our offense can get hot again um, because uh, the offense just was not there in this Dodger series, and that's okay. Uh, you know, this is a really, really good Dodger team, like I talked about. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, the Mets are leading the Nationals 2-1, to one, and unfortunately they did win the first game of the doubleheader 4-1. to one. Uh, this, The Nationals are terrible, and, and, and uh, the fact that the Mets are getting excited about this, I mean, yeah, I was really pumped when they swept them out in the four-game series, but I was way more excited when we swept the Mets in the three-game series. I mean, so the fact that, I mean, the Nationals are terrible. I mean, they're, they're such a joke. Let's see how they do against the Dodgers. Let's see how they do against the Giants. I guarantee you they won't do well. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, they, uh, you know, lose in those games. Um, so uh, as we take a look at the Reds and the Braves just getting underway, uh, so let's pray, pray, pray that the Reds defeat the Braves. Um, so uh, as the Phillies are in sole possession of first place once again. Now, if the Braves do lose today, uh, which hopefully they will, uh, so that will remain the same. If they win today, we're tied again. Uh, so we're just a half game up. Now, if you're going to see this video and the Braves win, then, you know, don't go down and comment and say, oh, well, you know, you're wrong. You know, now, you know, now they don't. Now it's tied again. At the time of this video, the Reds and Braves game has not been played. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, so I forgot to talk about some club news. Nick Maton has been optioned to the Leal Valley Iron Pigs on AAA affiliate. And they also uh, sent uh, Bailey Falter on a rehab assignment to uh, Lehigh Valley. And uh, some devastating news. Sam Coonrad has been transferred to the 60-day injury list with light forearm tendonitis. Um, so that's a pretty crushing blow. He's probably out for the rest of the season. And uh, yesterday, Jose Alvarado was placed in the 10-day injury list with a left shoulder impediment. Um, so uh, he's now in the 10-day IL. And Sir Anthony Dominguez uh, now on a rehab side of the Red and Fight Bills, right? You know, so I was in Class A, now he's going up the double A. Um, so, uh, you know, he's working his way up. He should be back next month in the big leagues. First time since May of 2019 since he has appeared uh, in the, uh, the Philly P. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit, uh, it's, it's going to be weird, right? It's going to be a little bit weird and... It's going to be interesting to see, you know, what hole he has. I mean, this month of September is going to be huge for the Phillies. And the fact that, you know, no one's really calling about this. I mean, this is going to be a, a huge, huge addition to this bullpen. You know, San Diego Dominguez, you know, if, if he stays on track and if he's ready for September, this is going to be a massive acquisition for this bullpen, uh, you know, in this, in this upcoming September month. So uh, and when we get him back, I mean, this is going to be this is a huge, huge thing for this Phillies bullpen. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm really excited for that. So uh, some disappointing news and some good news. Uh, but definitely the Sam Coonrad news, so disappointing. Uh, you know, these injuries have not helped at all. They have not helped at all. Um, and uh, Jose Alvarado, I mean, uh, this guy has uh, trouble locating his pitches a lot, and he frustrates me more than he excites me. So uh, and I'm not really as upset about that. Uh, but uh, Cincinnati Reds come to town, 7 to 5 the first pitch tomorrow. And I'll be there. Mail, 9 to 3 with a 3, 7 to 80 array going for the Reds. Zach Lever, 10 and 6 with a 2 4 2 ERA. We have to win. Uh, tomorrow night's game, Saturday, 4 or 5, Castillo, 6 and 11 with a 4 or 5 3 or 8. The Phillies are thinking about starting Matt Moore on Saturday. No, no, no. We cannot be starting Matt Moore. This guy is terrible. I mean, you saw the post the Phillies updates did. It just goes to show you, emphasizes even more how bad Matt Moore is. Do not start Matt Moore, but this organization probably will because it just, I don't really think they're that smart. And uh, Sunny Gray on Sunday, one of the first pitch finale, 4 and 6 with a, with a 4 for 4 ERA. array. And uh, Aaron Nola, 7 6 with a 4 3 5 ERA. And uh, hopefully he can go more than four innings, you know, because you know, of the rain. He was dealing last time out. We all know that against the Dodgers the first game of the series. And uh, his outing was cut short. So, guys, if you're watching this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn the notification bell. Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Check out the social video. Link in the description section at Phillies at Sylvan Instagram, Twitter, and Instagram. Call or text 267 225 3392. Email me. Phillies at gmail.com. Uh, so, uh, Hunter Brody. Uh, Broads Media coming on tomorrow, uh, you know, so I'm really excited. I mean, this is a big deal for this show. Um, so I also apologize for the glare in here, right? The sun, you know, shining on the uniform, you can't even see it. Uh, it's awful. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's one thing I don't really love about this recording studio, but uh, I don't really think you all care about that. 7 to 5, the first pitch tomorrow. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Bills. What a way to avoid this week. I'll see you guys.